Once you start thinking about the cost of getting a dog, it's obvious that you're being quite serious about it. Now the costs may differ depending on which breed you're interested in. In this video, I'll be breaking down the basic costs behind getting a dog. So let's start with a list of the things that will cost you money. These are the absolute most basic things that you'll need when you bring your puppy home. For now, I'll just list the items and we'll get back to the money later. The stuff that you'll need to get is the puppy itself, a collar and lead, bowls for food and water, dog bed, insurance, puppy proofing your home, puppy proofing your yard or garden, vaccinations, crate, toys, quality food, food for training sessions, poo bags, cleaning supplies for accidents inside the home, the costs for traveling to get your puppy. Now with the larger breeds, some of these costs will be higher. There's no denying that. Like your border collie will eat more than a chihuahua. He'll also need a larger crate, a larger bed, larger toys. He'll need a collar that he can grow into or new ones often as he grows. Now, some of these things I'd recommend you buy cheap stuff that your border collie pup can grow out of without ruining you. They do grow fast, so I wouldn't spend too much money on a nice looking collar until he's at least a year old. Nor would I spend a fortune on a bed for him, because he'll grow out of it before you blink or he'll chew it to pieces or both. My advice is spend your money wisely. Put your money into a good insurance for your dog. Spend money on a good crate that he can grow into. Get him good food that benefits his growth and health. And while we're here, you may as well take a look at some of the things we've got here at Fenrir. We've spent a lot of time making sure that it's the best stuff on the planet, so it's definitely worth a look. I'll link it in the info below so you can check it out for yourself. Other things worth putting time, effort and money into is puppy proofing your home. Restricting the space your pup can be in by himself is strongly recommended as puppies have a tendency to destroy things in their exploration of the world around them. Gates between rooms is an excellent idea for this. If you have a yard or garden, you'll want to put up a fence high enough for your body border collie not to just step over it. Perhaps not as a pup, but definitely when he's an adult. Now, border collies are not the breed most likely to wander off, but it can still be a good idea, especially considering that their herding instincts may set in if they see or smell something interesting outside your yard. In some areas around the world, crates are used for puppies and adult dogs. If you're in a country where this is allowed, you should invest in a good one. It needs to be safe for your puppy or dog, and it needs to be large enough for him to stand and lie down in on his side without problem. If this is your first border collie, you may need to change cars, depending on what kind of car you drive today. If you intend to bring your dog along in your car, he needs space. Not to move around, but just to be not too enclosed. You should also invest in some toys. Now, your puppy won't stay small for very long, so I would wait with investing in any serious toys. Get him something small and cheap, and as you get to know each other, you'll learn what kind of toys he likes, and you can invest from that. Hey guys, if you're not already, you should be following our Fenrir Rescue Diaries over on Fenrir Canine Training Channel. That is following my journey of working at a rescue centre, helping dogs that have been abandoned, abused, given up or found as strays and helping implement behaviour modification programmes to allow them to become perfect canine companions that can be rehomed to their forever homes. So if you're interested in following my journey of how I do that, there'll be a link to that channel down in the description box below. I think you'll really enjoy the journey but i'll let you get back to the video you were just watching right so let's take a look at actual money then this is where it gets scary and like i said getting a dog does cost the pup itself now this cost will depend on breeder location pure breed or not if you buy from a rescue or shelter how serious the breeder is etc but let's play with the idea that you buy your border collie from a responsible breeder such a puppy would cost you somewhere between 600 to 1300 us dollars if you'd rather get an adult border collie from a shelter, the cost would be around 300 US dollars. Vaccinations is a must. This will cost you up to 100 US dollars, depending on what you choose to vaccinate for. A crate for your border collie is something that I recommended you invest in from starters. This can be anything from 150 to 250 US dollars. Whilst you're at it, you should also check if you need to get a crate for your car. In some countries, it's illegal to have a dog loose in the car, and if you're in one of those countries, then get yourself a crate for the car. These crates cost differently depending on which car they fit into, so I can't really give you a general price here. Your dog needs to eat out of something. I'd recommend you get a couple of smaller bowls for him to start with, and once he's grown up a bit, you can get larger ones. You want him to reach his food while young, not drowning kibbles. A pair of smaller bowls will cost you around 10 US dollars. Once he's grown up a bit, you may want to get him elevated bowls. Then there are lots of different ones, and they vary from cheaper to more expensive, which means 10 to 150 US dollars. Not all dogs want to sleep on the floor. Some of them want a bed for themselves. Now, a dog bed can be handy for so many reasons, one of them being the ease with which you teach your dog the command stay in the house. But a bed for him will also provide him with a place to get some comfy rest in peace and quiet, so it's well-invested money. However, whilst he's still a pup, I would get something cheaper for so many reasons. One, he'll grow out of it in no time. Two, he may be the chewy type and chew it to pieces. So get yourself a cheap one and upgrade as he grows bigger and older. 
Among the cheap ones in Border Collie puppy size, you could easily find one for around 10 US dollars. Now, as you'll notice, there are some costs that I haven't brought up yet. There's a reason for that, and that's because it depends on so many things. Puppy proofing your home and yard, for example, it depends on how you live, how big your home is, how much space your yard covers, what kind of gates or fence you want to put up, all that kind of stuff. So it's difficult to say a general price. Collar and lead is another one of those things. Your border collie puppy is, well, small as relative, of course, but small compared to when he's older. Whatever collar you buy at first, it can either be something you can make bigger, which you can spend more money on, or you can buy, buy new ones continuously as he grows. No matter which you choose, it's kind of difficult to give a, an average cost for this, but a small collar for when you pick your puppy up could cost around 10 US dollars. A basic, simple lead, about the same. Now, some of the things on this long list will be monthly costs. There are food, insurance, chewing bones, poo bags, dog snacks for training and puppy classes if you're choosing to take them. And these costs will also vary depending on what food you choose, which insurance company, etc. Insurances may also vary on where you live and which breed you choose. For example, larger breeds tend to cost more. But choose insurance wisely to get help if you need it. If you're insured, consult your breeder or the breed club and they should know more about these things. So let's break this down into another list. Quality food, 90 US dollars a month. Insurance, around 35. Snacks, 25 dollars a month. Waste bags, if you get a bunch the last couple of months, I'd say about 15 US dollars. Puppy class, depending, but it will be around 180 to 200 US dollars a month. And a perfect puppy course online with here, with us at Fenrir, you'll pay 99 pounds for this and you'll have a dream dog on the other side of it. So we've established that there's a whole lot of money that goes into getting a dog. There's certainly more to it than just the puppy. Now, if you, like me, aren't made of money, you don't have to get the most expensive, luxurious thing for your dog, but I'd advise you spend money on food, insurance, puppy-proofing, crates, and courses in one way or another. It will serve you and your dog in the end, even if it stings to begin with. Let's wrap this up and see if we can get some of all these numbers. Remember that the initial costs does not include securing your home and yard. Initial costs will be 1,575 US dollars, and monthly cost around 260 US dollars. Now, remember that these numbers are extremely general. You'll need to do some research on your own to find out what it, the exact costs will be for you and your dog. But as you can see, having a dog will dig deep holes in your wallet, but it's worth it, every single penny. And with that, I'll wrap up today's video about the cost of getting yourself a border collie. It's a lot of money behind this new endeavor, but in the end, you'll have the best friend you can ever imagine.